Hello everyone, welcome back. Dessert day. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make ice cream cone cupcakes. No ice cream involved, but we are gonna take your favorite boxed cake mix, any flavor, and we're gonna put them into ice cream cones. Y'all ready for this one? Doesn't it sound like fun? Perfect for Mother's Day coming up, holidays, perfect for the summer and spring right outside our door. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is start preparing our cake mix batter. Now I'm using the dark chocolate fudge because that sounds delicious for me. Any flavor that you like, if you wanna use strawberry, vanilla, the yellow golden cake mix, whatever you like. I'm gonna be putting my cake mix into a large mixing bowl. Y'all let me know down below in the comments what flavor you're gonna use for this. I'm gonna crack three eggs in. We're just following the directions on the back of the package, but I'm also going to be turning this into a bakery style cake. So I'm just gonna flip a few ingredients, make it more fluffy, lighter cake. One, two, and three. I'm gonna be adding half a cup of melted butter. Now this is replacing the half a cup of oil listed on the back of the package. If you wanna use the oil, you can do that. You don't have to put the butter in. And instead of one cup of water, I'm gonna be adding in one cup of milk. We're going to go ahead now and mix our batter all together. I'm just using my electric hand mixer or you can use a whisk or a wooden spoon. We're going to blend this all together. <laughs> I'm just using a medium setting. Now as you can see, I have a Ziploc bag or a storage bag, plastic. I just set it into a small bowl. And then I just pushed the outer edge of it to the back side of the bag. We're gonna take our cake batter and put it right into the Ziploc bag. If you have some extra hands, that helps. <laughs> you know, Thomas is always in the kitchen giving a helping hand. All right, what we're gonna do now is set up our ice cream cones. Grab your muffin tins. Now these are the standard size. You don't need to spray these or do any of that. You're gonna take your ice cream cups. They're the flat bottomed wafer cones. That way they can stand up. And we're gonna place them into our muffin tin. All right, that's what they look like. You just place one into each muffin tin. Okay, I think these were crushed on the side a little bit. There we go. My husband's gonna eat those before there's even cake in them. So I'm gonna take the cake batter. Now I went ahead and closed the Ziploc part of the bag here. That way the cake doesn't go outside of the bag on that side. I'm gonna take a pair of scissors. I'm just gonna hold it upward a little bit, snip off just a little piece of the bottom there so the batter can come out. We're gonna fill each cone halfway with the batter. So just give it a light squeeze. Because it's cake batter, it's gonna rise in our cups. This is a fun one, you guys. Wait until you see how we're gonna finish these off. Okay, you may have half of your batter left if you're doing the 12 cones. You could just put that into a cake pan that you've prepared with some cooking spray and then bake it off just like a regular cake. Or you can make 24 of these, whatever you need. I'm gonna place these in the oven. Now I've got them on a sheet pan, that way it's easier to get into the oven. I'm gonna bake these for 21 to 24 minutes at 350 degrees. 
Make sure you put a toothpick in the center of it and it comes out clean. We're gonna cool these down completely and then I'm gonna finish these off for you. Okay, my cupcake cones are out of the oven. They're cooling down, doesn't take very long. So we're gonna go ahead and start making that buttercream frosting. Now this is my recipe. You can even use store-bought frosting if you wanna do that also for a really quick topping. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got one cup of softened butter. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give it a little guess there. Now I'm gonna be using my electric hand mixer. And blend this all together. Just beat it for about one to two minutes. We're gonna start adding three cups of powdered sugar into our butter here. I'm gonna add about a cup at a time. And start slow and beat it in. Yep, you're not baking if you don't have powdered sugar all over the place. <laughs> and if you don't have powdered sugar everywhere, I would sprinkle some on there. Almost lost my bowl. <laughs> Have a grip on it. All right, I'm gonna add the rest of the powdered sugar and then I'm gonna start drizzling in about one to two tablespoons of milk. That way we can get the consistency of a frosting so that we can ice our cupcakes. Start off really low with the milk. That way the consistency doesn't get too runny for you. There we go. And you can pass these on to somebody that does the camera work for you. He's like, don't beat those off of there. <laughs> all right. Okay, we've got the frosting all ready to go. Now there's several ways you can do it. If you wanna pipe them, what I'm gonna do is just take a spoon of the frosting. I'm just gonna put it on top and just kind of swirl it around, kind of like the second scoop of ice cream. Just like that. Now, doesn't that look like an ice cream cone? So let's finish these up, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna finish topping these. So what we're gonna do is take some sprinkles, something fun, and we're gonna sprinkle on the top of the frosting. All right, they're party cupcakes. Got some cherries, I'm just gonna place one right on top. What do y'all think of my ice cream cone cupcakes? Fun, fun, fun. Y'all let me know which cake batter you want to make for your cones, what you're going to top it with, and are you going to do sprinkles and a cherry on top? Let's give it a try. All right, that's what the inside of it looks like. It tastes like a cupcake in an ice cream cone. What a fun way to celebrate anything, right? All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way, you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.